I have already been accused of trying to drown a boatload of wild Irishmen on Arran. There is one scene I remember when the Corrach was trying to get to land. Suddenly, a jagged tooth of rock is revealed. I should have been shot for what I asked these superb people to do for the film. Flaherty wasn't interested in spontaneity and adrenaline. It was much more the greatness of cinema. And his films were gigantic, and their characters were epic, and they all had sort of harpoons, and they were incredible characters, and it was cinema that he was interested in. I mean, he quite literally cast the people. He cast two women he knew. One was Nyla. Some writers uh, have taken great trouble to document Flaherty's relation with Inuit women. I don't think it was intention of exploitation. I think there was some romance. Historically speaking, it's a stage thing. It's not everyday life. If that was the intention, that was certainly not everyday life. Gerson had joined forces with Flaherty, not only out of personal attraction and friendship, but because it's all advantage. I was paid, after Louisiana story, $3,000. And back in 1948, that was like 200000 a day. That was, that was great. With Flowerly, we went to shoot the boy, and we were all set to shoot the sequence. And Flowerly found a cobweb. His policy was, if you saw something beautiful, shoot it. He was the master of the authored piece. He was the, the master of storytelling in an epic way. Certainly, he's had a major impact on the world, his films. Robert Flaherty was the most extraordinary person filmmaker I've ever worked with. Mm -hmm.